Welcome back. In Abuja, the Speaker of Nigeria's House of Representatives is calling on police authorities to weed out the few bad eggs among its ranks as one of the basic steps towards an efficient police force. Femi Gwajabia Mila spoke at the public hearing on two bills, one of which is the Police Service Commission Act Amendment Bill. National Assembly correspondent Joke Adisa reports. Recruitment of police constables and cadets have been a major issue of contention between the Police Service Commission and the Office of the Inspector General of Police. The Commission is currently in court to determine the rightful body vested with that responsibility. I, 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 to resolve this challenge and others, the lawmakers have pushed for an amendment to the Police Service Commission Act. One of these is the democratization of the choice of who chairs the Commission away from retired IGPs or DIGs. At this public hearing on two bills, including one seeking to create a police institute, contributors yearn for requisite amendments that will further strengthen the police force. As you say, the popular saying that a rotten egg can spoil the whole basket. We must attempt to weed out the few rotten eggs that seem to give the police force, men and women who lay their lives and put their lives out there on the daily for you and I. In all our submissions, we are expected to get ideas that would add value to strengthen the force and give Nigerian the best security agent that will man our internal security. The Minister of Police Affairs, the IGP, the Chairman Police Service Commission, the Nigerian Bar Association and civil society groups lead those who make contributions to the proposed amendment. The power of Mr. President to remove the chairman and members has to some extent been deleted. We cannot any justification for the removal of this provision. I know a lot of us we are not happy with what has been happening. But whatever is the decision the commission has taken, we believe it was taken to protect the mandate of the commission. And I'm pretty sure that uh, when the chairman of our police service commission comes to speak, he's going to defend why there should be no discrimination in the appointment of the chairman of the commission. The sponsor of the bill believes the amendment being proposed will put paid to the seeming rift. Colleagues are invited guests. Prior to this time, 10,000 10, police constables are being recruited yearly. But over the years, the recruitment was stopped. Reason being that Police Service Commission took some matters to court as to who have the right to recruit Nigerian police constable as well as the police cadet. The consensus at the end of the one-day public hearing is that the proposed amendment to the Police Service Commission Act as well as the planned establishment of the police institute will address the statutory deficits that have hindered the effective operations of the Nigeria police force over the years. Jokia Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.